With the ribbon being cut, the wine auditorium is officially rededicated and open for business. A $140,000 makeover includes a completely resurfaced pool, new pump and filter equipment, and new lighting and paint all the way around the entire building. The natatorium is named in honor of John and Mary Alice Minor. She literally taught thousands of children how to swim. Their daughter, Mary Lee, was overjoyed. I feel exuberant. I'm so happy and so joyful that they are still being celebrated with this wonderful swimming pool that they are responsible for getting right here. That's a feeling shared by the entire Y staff. It is great seeing so many people come out to the Y to celebrate not only the pool opening but our rededication to the Miner family and their love of teaching children across the Gulf Coast to swim. Ocean Springs Mayor Kenny Holloway knows how important the Y is to the city. The Y has been a uh, cornerstone of the city of Ocean Springs for a long time and these improvements that are being made here just ensures that the, uh, the Y will continue its mission in Ocean Springs for much longer. Those who serve in law enforcement know the Y means safety in and around the water. This is a, a place where kids can come to stay safe. They employ lifeguards here, and I express to everyone, especially those with little to no experience in swimming, don't get in the pool if there's not an experienced trained lifeguard on duty to watch you. Completing this project means one thing for the Y. Our goal for this is to make the improvements now so we can continue to expand our services um, and so we want this facility to last another 50 years. Remembering what the Miner family has meant to the Y for so many years was part of a calling from above. The Lord told her that she was going to save lives and teach swimming lessons and she dedicated her life to that 67 years. There was only one fitting way to end this ceremony. Here I go, a beautiful job. Doug Walker, reporting for our YMCA.